explain these many hats that I, that I wear. At the moment, the main, most important one for me, I think, is free speech on Israel. Some people look at that and think we're asking for free speech for Israel. I think we'd all agree. They have all the free speech that they could possibly need. It's those of us who oppose the Israeli state in order to promote justice for Palestine who need free speech right now. We are really under attack. And Theresa May has taken a really major backward step by adopting or saying that her government intends to adopt a so-called definition of anti-Semitism that pretty well outlaws any criticism of the found founding principles of the State of Israel, the actions of the Israeli government. You're not allowed to point out that Palestinians are killed and bleed as a result of Israeli government action because they'll accuse you of the blood libel if you say these things. It's very, very dangerous and I would urge all of you to stand up against any attempt to characterize us as the racist. Hughes just said it, absolutely right. Zionism is a racist ideology. We are consistently opposed to any form of racism. We're the ones who go out on the streets and defend Jews, Muslims and others under attack from, from the fascist right. I don't see those people out there, right? I've seen that right here, actually. So, okay, we are here as Jews against Zionism, Jews against any form of racism, Jews for justice for Palestinians. There's a whole range of Jewish opinion. One last thing, I don't want to keep you too long. We are often painted as extremists. We are often painted as being sort of off the scale in terms of the political spectrum. I'm absolutely clear about this. Most of the people in this country understand who is the underdog in the Palestine-Israel conflict. They know that the Palestinians are the ones under the kosh. They know that the Israeli state is powerful and has friends over there on the other side of the Atlantic. The Palestinians' friends, us. And most people in, on the street in this country do know that. But a lot of them are very frightened to speak out. But we can say confidently, we're not frightened, we're not scared, we will speak out. We are expressing the people's anti-racist voice. Thanks very much.